Dreamy Jaguars. Today I have come into the woods because the bluebells are out. The bluebells are out. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. I uh, love this time of year, love this location. The B roll's going to be magic. So, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, the origins of the DMT entities. And not that I've got any idea what the origins of the DMT entities are, but. Um, there's some interesting stuff coming out. Um, it's probably been out a while, but it's interesting and it's talking about the UAP phenomenon and what uh, you know what these entities craft are. Are they spiritual? Are they f sort of um, fragments of of our consciousness? And is there an integral part between our consciousness and these beings? Um, and these craft and I'm kind of like m you know moving that over onto the DMT entities and trying to again lump together this whole phenomenon aspect of, uh, of my thinking at the moment so what do you think I mean do you think that these entities are one and the same with this sort of UAP phenomenon because if you think about when somebody has a, a, a contact experience you know very rarely do we get any decent footage um, is it just a kind of a, a compartment of the mind opening up to something that has always been here with us um, and then we found a way to gain access to these realms, to these dimensions where these entities reside. Um, and and are, they, are they the spiritual beings of antiquity, of, the, of our religions? Um, and I think there's something to that, I really do. I think that there is some relationship between ancient stories of biblical um, phenomenon uh, angels demons gods etc the current sort of new UAP paradigm and and the DMT state this is just a, uh, another way of gating access to these but maybe this is our way of gating access to this phenomenon um, rather than the phenomenon gating access to us uh, via you know dreams or just states of mind where these beings are able to kind of make contact um, and the trickster the trickster element keeps coming up it's like this cosmic giggle, this cosmic joke, this kind of uh, baiting of us, you know, are these entities our masters, our creators, our, our gods? Um, and is the UAP phenomenon intrinsically linked? <sighs> yeah. There's a, there's a really great documentary called access to other worlds I think or a, a, a meeting with other worlds I'll, I'll link it um, so you guys can watch it and it really kind of bridges the gap between in my opinion states altered states of consciousness and uh, and, and the UAP UFO phenomenon um, yeah it's cool Jacques Vallée, the French UFO or ufologist, has been going down this track for some time now where he is linking the spiritual um, phenomenon with the UAP phenomenon. And this documentary is about this um, gaucho, this Argentinian cowboy who had an experience when he was little. 
uh, and then he kind of just lost the plot and was sort of off the radar and just a sort of you know outcast um, he he had an experience where he was taken aboard a ship and the the entities on the ship were sort of glowing silver entities and they um, they were making food for him they were making pancakes and they were doing kind of shamanic stuff and i think that that is quite telling that, that this is a melding of mind and experience uh, all together as one phenomenon Absolutely spectacular this time of year in the woods. So, uh, so what do we think? Do we? I suppose we've got to kind of start pushing forward with our thought processes about what these experiences are. And I know, obviously, there's some really quality science being done um, about the, you know, the DMT. DMT entities um, and the, the psychedelic experience and that's going to kind of give us intel into the brain uh, but let's go let's go just out there and speculate which is obviously way more fun to do might be a load of bollocks but it's good fun so this uh, this documentary I'm talking about um, yeah, this Argentinian gaucho and his experience as a child. The way it's put together, Jack Vallée features in the documentary. And I don't know, there's just something very psychedelic about the experience. It's a bit, it's just a bit random. Like the guy meets these entities on this ship and they are making him pancakes <laughs> and they're in like silver suits and it's all very kind of glowing and I just think I you know just the absurdity of a DMT breakthrough and the entities are just like you're just like what <laughs> what and they're like no don't worry about it and we're just doing this do you want to see this do you want to see that uh, how's this look what about this? What if I do this? And you're just like, what are you doing? Um, and it really kind of resonated with me. So, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, and this is going to be something that we really dive into further down the line, and our good friend Pascal, is that is the DMT experience and the UAP experience and the phenomenon contact experience. I've got to be quiet because there's other photographers in the woods uh, taking photographs of deer and bluebells. Is this experience, is the experience one of a spiritual nature uh, and uh, religious um, experiences of the past and now current day alien contact uh, is it all one and the same thing I think it is I really do. I just think the whole there's just some kind of I've got to keep swapping hands because this is heavy. There's some kind of big brother watcher interacting with guiding us and nurturing us maybe playing with us 
who knows who knows but it feels like that could be the case and the more you kind of look into the UAP stuff the more the psychedelic experiences come to light the more the brain imaging marches on more technology marches on more artificial intelligence it becomes more powerful we just seem to be converging and it's exciting times so what do you think what do you think do you think that this is bollocks what are your thoughts on what I've just said can you see correlations between alien experience alien contact entity contact of any kind the DMT entity contact the whole nine yards does it resonate with you that it's a all a similar experience and maybe the same intelligence that is um, getting in touch anyway that's it for me for this morning um, Justin's had a, a procedure on his eye so he'll be back shortly we've got finally an experience lined up and we've got better weather better conditions to start putting these um, experiments with the phenomenon in place so get in touch join the channel become a member i think it's like two quid or five quid patreon's become a bit more of a thing now it looks like a kind of they've redesigned it as like a hub for friends of the channel to to interact and become you know more engaged and 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 support us in pushing it forward so visit our patreon we're going to do some real big updates to that soon uh, patreon.com forward slash dreaming jaguars we've got some t-shirts and things coming well that should be good to help support the channel and uh, listen stay trippy stay weird and experiment with the phenomenon dreaminjaguars.com we'll see you soon